Among the sectors that have been heavily affected by the COVID-19 pandemic is agriculture, as produce supply chains have been halted. Francis Tabot from Rungit in Nandi County shares his story. My name is Francis Tabot. Uh, I'm a farmer, especially dealing in horticulture and doing this as a business. I've heard about uh, three crops here on this farm and, and the one which was affected most was uh, the pumpkin, which uh, was a crop which uh, was contracted by a company from Nyeri. They gave me the seed. I planted three quarters of an acre last year, September, October. So uh, this, this crop uh, was ready in March and, and the company was supposed to collect the crop that they are exporting. But then this was a time when the disease had arrived and there was curfew. So they, 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 they could not come and collect the crop because of those many issues. And uh, the, the whole crop, almost uh, three quarters of an acre, went to waste. Because the pumpkins, once it is ready, unless it is the indigenous, this was a hybrid variety. So, so it, it spoiled in the farm. I was left with a few which I tried hooking, the total cost, it was coming to about 800,000. Starting from the seed, land preparation, and, and, and taking care of the crop. Uh, part of the capital I borrowed, which as you have said, I injected, especially on the, on the pumpkin. But because I didn't make any sales, I could not repay some of those loans. Uh, and I'm, I'm now forced to sell some of my assets to, to offset those, uh, those loans. Have you exhausted all the, all, the, all the pumpkins? I still have some uh, remaining because, as I said, it is not a popular pum pumpkin variety. So I, st I still have some which once in a while I take out to sell. It is in the store. Because I was seeing some which were rotten as we... As yeah, we them, actually so. this, was, this crop was accept susceptible to, to rotting. It, it, it was not like the, the, the indigenous variety, which, which is very hardy. Yeah. So, in your take, Mr. Tabut, what, what, do, you, what do you think is the, the, the future post, post COVID of agriculture? Uh, okay, agriculture being the backbone of the country, uh, I, I don't see it uh, really going anywhere. It, it, will, it, it will pick up especially for those people who have uh, remained on the market. You know, you know, everything depends on your persistence, especially in horticulture. So uh, it, will, it will be a bit better for someone who has remained on the market than the person who, who gave up and has to start afresh. But I can say it will, it will pick up.